Classical conditioning, popularly known as Pavlovian conditioning, is a psychological theory that introduces the concept of learned behavior through association. It was formulated by Russian physiologist Ivan Pavlov in the early 20th century. Pavlov first observed this phenomenon while conducting research on canine digestion. He noticed that dogs would begin to salivate not only when food was presented to them, but also in response to lab technicians, whom they associated with food. This discovery sparked Pavlov's interest, and he embarked on a series of experiments to delve into the workings of this associative learning. The iconic experiment which solidified the concept of classical conditioning involved pairing a neutral stimulus, a bell, with an unconditioned stimulus, food. The food would naturally elicit salivation, the unconditioned response, from the dogs. However, when Pavlov consistently rang the bell, conditioned stimulus, just before presenting the food, the dogs began to associate the two stimuli. After repeated pairing, the dogs started to salivate, now a conditioned response, merely at the sound of the bell, even when food was not presented. This conditioning process showcases how an organism can be trained to respond to a previously neutral stimulus. The principle relies on two key elements, timing and pairing. The conditioned stimulus must occur immediately before the unconditioned stimulus, and the pairing must be consistently repeated to establish the association. Pavlov's theory of classical conditioning has been instrumental in many areas of psychology and beyond. It provides insight into how phobias, compulsions and addictions can develop, and is also applied in behavioural therapy, education and marketing to shape desired responses. It has been an invaluable tool in understanding learned behaviour. Despite its vast applications, Pavlov's theory has been critiqued for simplifying the complexity of human behaviour and cognition. Critics argue that learning involves more than mere stimulus response associations. However, even with these criticisms, the core principles of Pavlovian conditioning continue to be fundamental in the realm of behavioural science and its applied fields.